Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Tian and a PhD student in Access. Today, I'm going to give a short presentation for my research. Uh, my research topic is about airflow flow and noise control using morphine structures. And I'm with Professor Professor Weaver and uh, Dr. Madi. Uh, this is the context. Uh, first, I will give a brief introduction about the background and then brief out some recent morphine concepts in the literature. And after that, I'm going to show some recent uh, aerodynamic test results I just conducted. And after that, um, some noise prediction for the Air Force with morphine structure will be shown. And lastly, we will conclude everything with some future works. So why we choose morphine? Why we do morphine? It's like uh, uh, the aviation transportation has been and uh, rapid development over recent years. And uh, you know, people are more and more, more worried about the in potential impact uh, on the environment caused by the aircraft, such as the uh, uh, greenhouse gas emissions, the noise emissions on the, on the neighbors or ridge, the airports caused by the aircraft during landing or taking off. In order to uh, address such orders, the uh, advisory council of the aviation research and uh, in innovation in Europe has set up this flight pass 2015 um, goals, which basically says, oh, we need to re reduce the gas emissions hugely, let's say 50, 90%, 75% for, for, um, for this gas emissions and 65% noise reduction for the uh, aircraft by the 2015. To deliver such ambitious targets, we need to, to improve, we need to advance the tech knowledge. Efforts include, you know, development of new materials, including composites and uh, super alloys, or a new design philosophy for the engines and the aircraft itself. Um, and uh, particularly people, more, lots of people are interested in the novel high performance control surface like the morphine structures I'm going to present. Morphine structures, um, morphine is basically short for metamorphosis. It's uh, used in the aeronautic field to represent a set of technology that is going briefly to change the shape of the aircraft, let's say the, uh, the wind platform, the camber of the airfoil, or in or the sweat back of the aircraft, such things. So in order to do so, we can change the aircraft uh, performance accordingly to the flight conditions. And uh, people have done lots of work uh, to pro propose different morphine concepts and ideas, like uh, the morphine trillage, uh, morphine trillage in, on the, in the left top, in the left picture. And in the middle, uh, it shows a uh, morphine sh an engine novel shivering, which is developed by the uh, NASA. And uh, on the left, on the right, it says uh, a morphine drop nose, which is proposed by the German Aerospace Center for the uh, aircraft's noise killing without affecting the aerodynamic lift. NASA has finished uh, his, their first initial phase of the flight test on the aircraft, which replaced the conventional hinged flap with the morphine concept proposed by uh, a company, a commercial company, which is promoting the morphine concepts, uh, the, which is called uh, Flexis. So they just finished it in April and uh, haven't published anything yet, but we are, we are expecting from them. So uh, based on my previous research, uh, I developed a novel morphine concept, uh, which is um, extension from the morphine trillage I showed. Um, by replacing the honeycomb core, uh, the conventional hexagonal on shape of honeycomb core with a binding certificate tailored um, zero production ratio honeycomb core, we are able to get uh, such a morphine trillage, which is able to provide large enough tip deflection for the noise for the flow control purposes. And also at the same time, because the binding certificate is tailored, so we are able to control the re control the actuation energy by reducing the bending stiffness where it's not naturally high. And uh, doing, in doing so, we also enabled the morphine profile tailoring, which is, means the deformed shape of the morphine trillage, and that uh, has a significant uh, effect on the aerodynamic and uh, aeroacoustic performance of the airfoil itself. In order to parametrically 
characterize such effects of the changes to the geometry of the morphine trilogies. I have done, uh, I have done a lift and drag uh, measurement in the window tunnel to show how much and how it affects the whole thing. In my test, uh, NACA 012 wing is uh, used and fitted with different morphine trailing edges, which have the same tip deflection, but differing geometries. You can see from the fig on the left side. Um, from case 1 to case 5, uh, which varies from the, a single straight line, which is mimicking the plain flat, uh, plain flat flap uh, behaving like a uh, rigid body just rotating around a hinged axis. And it goes to KISS-5, which is a, a typical curved morphing profile of the conformal structure deformation of, uh, uh, of a morphing trail edges. And uh, the right, right figure shows uh, the, the wing I uh, manufactured, which is of a size like uh, 20 centimeter in cord and 45 centimeter in the, in the span. Uh, this slide shows the results. Uh, on the top top left, it shows the CL and CD of the wing. As we're changing the morphine profile from KISS-1 to KISS-5, we have increased the aerodynamic performance in terms of the CL significantly. Of, of course, at the same time, that's obvious. However, you can say the CD has also been increased, which is leading to to the slight reduction of the, KISS, uh, of the lift drag ratio of KISS-5 compared to KISS-1. So there's a compromise between those uh, those cases we have to select between them, and uh, the on the bottom figure it shows the uh, flow field downstream the trailing edge, which is uh, basically the velocity distribution along the uh, the y axis is the distance from a uh, distance of the data sampling point to the trailing edge point, and the axis shows the uh, flow stream velocity normalized by the free stream velocity. Uh, six lines are, are chosen at a different uh, distance to the trailing edge point. As we can say, from very close to the trailing edge point, which is the 0.05 say, to 20% of the cord, there is a very minor difference of the weak distribution of the flow. As the flow travels further to the downstream, we can say the, both the peak position and also the peak magnitude has been significantly affected which is believed to affect the noise emission of the airfoil uh, deeply. So, uh, in order to quantitatively show the, no, the effect of the morphine profiles on the airfoil noise emission, um, a semi-empirical semi model, BPM model, is uh, proposed, and which is developed by Brooks et al. In, uh, by NASA. Uh, the whole model comprises uh, five components. Uh, but three of them are relevant in my case. They are the, the first one is the turbulent boundary layer trainage noise, and also the separation noise, the store separation noise at high angles of attack, and lastly, the laminar boundary vortex shedding noise. With the semi empirical relationships between um, the aerodynamic parameters, such as the boundary layer trainage displacement uh, thickness at the uh, air foil tip, we can say. As we in the two figures shows the noise spect noise spectra of the air force fitted with morphine trailing edges, uh, which has different profiles. Uh, the first one shows like the velocity is 40 meters per second, angle attack zero degree, and uh, morphine angle is 10 degree, and uh, the the air force size is the same as I mentioned in the uh, window tunnel test of 20 centimeter in cord and 45 centimeter in, in span. So it clearly shows that as we change the profile from KISS-1 to KISS-5, the black line to the red line, the low frequency noise has been increased by 3 to 5 dB. And the main objective of noise reduction is at low frequency, as the low frequency noise can transfer further than the high frequency, which will be attenuated shown in the air. Um, in the red figure, which is uh, increased the angle attack to 4, basically it's the same story but the magnitude of the noise reduction has been slightly reduced to 2 or 3 dB, which is believed to be because of the, uh, uh, which is believed uh, as the store noise is coming to come to into the play, 
and uh, the trailing edge shape is gradually fade out as a fake effect. So based on the aerodynamic test and also the noise calculations, we have shown that by changing the morphine profiles, we can effectively control the aerodynamic performance like CLCD leaf to drag ratio and also the noise emission and the low, low frequencies. Um, so this, this kind of design concept has resulted in expanded design space for the morphine structures. So in order to further promote this idea and uh, some experimental noise measurement needs to be done to validate my model and also to figure out what is the noise mechanism for the reduction effect. And also optimization will be done to uh, further explore the structure performance of the, of the morphine trainage using uh, very positive new materials. And finally, uh, I will build a demonstrator for the proof of a concept product uh, thanks for listening. My name is Chen, and uh, if you want to know more about my research, just go get a contact. This is my e email. And uh, I want to acknowledge my supervisors and my good colleagues, and also EPSSE for holding my research here. Thank you very much.